Alright, so uh, what today's lesson is all about is going to be um, graphing some angles in standard position. Okay, so keep that in mind. We're graphing angles in standard position and we're trying to determine the reference angle, we're trying to determine the principal angle, and we're trying to determine a coterminal angle and basically the general solution or the general formula for the coterminal angle or angles. Okay, so what we're going to do here is uh, first thing is keep in mind that all the angles that we're going to do today or in this video are going to be all measured in degrees. Okay, so just keep that in mind for today's lesson that everything's going to be in degrees. We'll do later videos for uh, different angles and radians. Okay, so when we're starting out, we always start out at this position here. And so when we're asked in standard position, this is, this is what it's talking about. So basically what you want is you want to start here at this x-axis. So that's always going to be 0 degrees. Okay, so then if, if we went to this one here, that would be 90 degrees. And then if we kept going, uh, this would be 180 degrees kept going, this bottom one here would be 270 degrees. This would go on forever. This would be uh, 360 and et cetera, et cetera. Okay, so um, the first angle that we're gonna do is theta will equal 120 degrees. Okay, so theta is equal to 120 degrees. And so if the angle is a positive angle, which in this case it is, because this is positive 120, then you're going to rotate your arm uh, counterclockwise. Okay, so our arm is always going to initially start right here. Okay, so this arm here is going to be called the initial arm. Also, the values here don't really matter. The negative 1, negative 1, 1, and 1. They don't matter at this point. Later, we'll be doing the unit circle where they do matter, but here they, they don't really matter. Okay, so that's the initial arm. We are then going to rotate this initial arm positive, so we're going to rotate it counterclockwise 120 degrees. Okay, so if we have 180 here and 90 there, we're going to rotate it. So we rotate it 90, keep going, and we rotate it to about about there, uh, I might have gone a little bit too far. Let's, uh, yeah, let's erase that. I think I went a little bit too far. And so 120 would be, I'd say about there, approximately. So that's about 120 degrees. Okay, so that's 120 degrees. So the angle from here to here is 120 degrees. All right, and our, our uh, terminal arm ends there. So this is called the terminal arm. Okay, so this is the initial arm, and then this arm here would be called the terminal arm because that's where we stopped rotating. Okay, the next thing that we gotta figure out is the reference angle. So I'm gonna say the reference angle is equal to always the closest angle from the terminal arm to the x-axis. Okay, so here the closest angle to the from the terminal arm to the x-axis, remember this is the x-axis, would be this angle in there. So from 120, you have 60 degrees more to go to get to 180, so that's 60 degrees. So therefore the reference in this case is 60 degrees. Okay, the next thing that it wants to figure out here is the principal angle. And so the principal angle in this case The principal angle is always the angle, it's the closest angle to the initial arm. And this angle is always positive. It's always a positive angle. So you never rotate a principal angle from the initial arm, rotate it that way, you'd always rotate it in the positive direction here. So in this case, the principal angle is the closest angle from our initial arm to our terminal arm. So it's from there all the way to our terminal arm there. So it would be 120 degrees. So the principal angle in this case is the same as, as the angle that I had initially here. That's 120. 
Okay, so that's the principal angle. The next angle would be the coterminal angle. And so the coterminal angle just has the same terminal arm. So there's actually a lot of angles that would have the same terminal arm. Well, I'm going to give you an example of one angle that has the same terminal arm as 120 degrees. So that angle would go from here backwards in a negative direction. Because remember how I said that the positive angles rotate counterclockwise. And if it's negative, then it's going to rotate clockwise. So we go this way from there all the way to there. So that would be 180 plus the 60 is 240. So a coterminal angle would be 240 degrees. Now keep in mind that the coterminal angles go on forever. So another coterminal angle would be, well, 240 degrees plus another rotation. Oh, I made a mistake there. It's actually negative 240 degrees. Okay. And so negative 240 degrees minus another 360 degrees. So you get minus 600. So another one would be minus 600. Okay, and these go on forever. Basically, you just keep adding uh, or subtracting 360 dot 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 to keep getting the next one. So there's a general formula for that, and that's what it's saying here, the general formula. And the general formula for a coterminal angle will be negative 240 degrees plus 360, because we're adding a rotation to get to the next terminal arm. And we're doing that n amount of times. We could do that once, twice, three times. We could do it negative two times, four times. But n always has to be an integer. So we go n is an element of integers. And integers, remember, are the numbers negative 3, negative 2, negive 1, 0, 1, 2, dot, dot, dot. So it's any whole number there is going to be, is going to be an integer. So as long as um, you take the initial coterminal angle and you add or subtract uh, 360, that's going to basically keep giving you uh, coterminal angles. Okay, next, uh, next question. Um, we're going to do a different angle here. I'm going to say that theta is equal to negative 200 degrees. Okay, so we're going to do negative 200 degrees. So we're going to graph that out. And remember that this is our initial arm, and this is always at 0 degrees. We're going to rotate this negative. So we're going to rotate it backwards, 200 degrees. So 90, okay, because that was negative 90 negative 180. Remember the negative just indicates that we're rotating it clockwise. 180, 200, it's going to keep going and it's going to be right there about negative 200 degrees. Okay, and so this angle in there, remember from above here that that angle was the reference angle. So the reference angle here is the one that's closest and this angle in here is going to be 20 degrees. So our reference angle in this example is 20 degrees, okay? Our principal angle, so I'll just put principal here. Our principal angle, remember, is, is going to be from here. So let's remember what principal angle was. Principal was the closest angle to the initial arm, and it's always positive, okay? So here's our initial arm, okay? We're going positive right to our terminal arm, and that's going to be negative 200. So, or sorry. That's not going to be negative 200. Um, we got 20 degrees here. That was 180. Subtract the 20 degrees, and that's going to be 160 degrees. So our principal angle is going to be 160 degrees. And the next thing we can get is a coterminal angle. So a coterminal angle will have the same terminal arm. And remember what we said here. Well, the coterminal angle will just be basically negative 200 plus 360, so that will equal 160 degrees. Now that was just one coterminal angle. And the general solution to all the coterminal angles will be negative 200 plus 360 n, where n is an element of integers. Now I kind of made a little bit of a mistake here. This 240 should actually be what the original angle was, which was 120. So that should be 120 degrees there. Okay. So that's the general solution uh, to different coterminal angles. Okay. So the next angle that I'm going to show you is going to be theta is equal to 390 
degrees. Okay, so remember this is zero degrees. Okay, this is this is 90, this is 180, this is 270. So we have zero, we have 90, 180, 270, 360, 390 is gonna be a little bit further. So there's 390 degrees. Let's figure out what all the angles are in here. So this one in here, okay, remember is the reference angle, and that's going to be 30 degrees because we had, this was 360, and then plus the 30 would give you 390. So your reference angle is equal to 30 degrees. We have the principal angle, and remember the principal angle is the angle that is closest to the initial arm, and it's always positive. So to get the principal angle, you start at the initial arm, which is right here, and you rotate it positive till you hit your terminal arm, which is right there. So that is an angle of 30 degrees. So the principal angle is 30 degrees, which is the same as the reference angle. The next would be coterminal. And remember that any coterminal angle can be given by the initial angle, which is 390 degrees, plus 360, plus a rotation. And so the first coterminal angle will be 390 plus 360, so that's uh, 6750. So that's an example of one coterminal angle. Now, any coterminal angle, or the general solution is 390 plus 360n, where n is an element of integers. Remember, n can be negative or positive integers, so we could subtract 360, which would take this terminal arm the other way, or we could add 360. Okay. So let's try to do one last example here where theta is equal to, um, let's try, how about, uh, let's do a bigger one. How about uh, 440 degrees? Okay, so with 440 degrees, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your initial arm here. Remember, we always start here at zero degrees. We're gonna rotate it. So we got 90, 180, 270, 360, and so 360 plus 90 is 450, so this would be 450 degrees. So it, it would just be a little bit less than 450, and it would be right about there. All right, so um, to figure this one out, well, let's figure out our reference. Remember, our reference is closest to the x-axis, so from here to there. And so that, we know that's 440 here. So 440, and this was 360, and so that's 80 degrees, because 360 plus the 440 is 80 degrees. So your reference angle here is equal to 80 degrees. Your principal angle, is the closest to the initial arm. So there's the initial arm. Rotate that way, there it is. So it's also 80 degrees. And then your coterminal angle. So coterminal angle, remember, is equal to 440, which is your initial angle, plus 360 or minus 360 will give you a coterminal angle. So you get 440 plus 360 there and you get 800 degrees is a coterminal angle. Now in general, or the general answer to any coterminal angle will be 440 plus 360 n amount of times where n is an element of integers.